everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a quick head shave, hopefully a quick head shave, using Sterling Glacier Wintergreen. Super face shave with it today, cannot wait to use it again. And I've now got the alcohol splash courtesy of Spencer over at Spencer Frankel. Spencer Shaves needs to change his YouTube channel name so that we know where we're going. And I've also been using this one today as well, the, which is an aloe, which is super. Now, I'm going to be using this very pretty, girly, purpley, pinky, whitey sort of brush, which actually came from Spencer. So, what possessed him to buy a purple handled brush? I have got no idea. But it's a very nice little handle. It's got a lovely, very, very soft cashmere style knot. I haven't used an, an actual cashmere knot yet, but between this one and the one that I got from Evershave, the Evershave one is a lot softer than this. Now, Spencer reckons this is too soft, so the one that I've got would just be obviously like a melted marshmallow for him. So I'm gonna give this one a go today. So let's get it dipped. I've already given it a, a clean out with some hand sanitizer, not hand sanitizer, but you know, the hand wash with the sanitizing stuff in it, the, the germ killer. So I've used that on it. It doesn't really bother me. You know, there's too many people out there that worry about germs, I mean gee, they're everywhere, you're inhaling them all the time, so I just go with it. So we've got the puck's pretty much dry, they used it this morning. Let's just see what sort of lather we can get out of this brush. It does feel, I have to say it feels, it sounds daft, I can't even feel it, but it feels scritchy. Just in the silk, I don't know, it's a strange sensation I'm getting off the brush, off the knot itself. I'm going to really load this up. Oh Jesus, hey, that's... It might be a strange sensation because I've got far too much soap and not enough water in the brush. I'm just adding a little bit, a few dips of water here. I think it's starting to get a bit of loading consistency now. Definitely. I'm going to stop with the water now. As you can see, probably hear it as well, it's a much better sound than the sort of gluggy dry sound you get but with this highly mentholated soap it's always going to be a sort of gloopy consistency anyway right so that's the brush loaded there we go looks wet the head Let's get stuck in. Instantly that feels freezing, but that could just be the fact that I'm using cold water. But I obviously know how cold this soap is. It's super mentholated. It doesn't get much colder than it, in my opinion. I've used a few cold soaps, Barrister Man Arctic, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Frostbite, Snake Bite. I'm fine accoutrements. You name it and I've tried it. Other than the only one that I haven't tried that's super cold, the other one I've used as well is Phoenix and Ball Denali, which was a surprising one because I couldn't really feel the menthol on that first pass. The second pass it got slightly more mentholated, and then by the time I'd finished my third pass, it was freezing. So it's more of a gradual increase as you're using. Now, I didn't get a massively thick lather. Do you know what? I don't know if that's any better. No, that's even worse. I don't know if that's better for the actual seeing of the ladder. It's not better for me because I can't see shit in the mirror, but as long as the camera's picking it up all right. It's a very difficult soap, in my opinion, to build a thick lather, an actual voluminous lather. The performance of it, whether it's thick or not, is unquestionable. But because of the menthol content, you've got the sort of, you can only go so far with it before you have to just start painting it. And I'm pretty much at that point now. I mean, that's still
an exceptional liner. What am I thinking of? Hang on a minute, let me see if I can do this. We'll see if that's any better. There we go. Just locked the exposure. I keep forgetting I can do that. You can see the shine on there now. And that's pretty thick stuff, really. The brush is caked. I don't know why I'm dipping my fingers in the water. I'm also getting ready for the Man United game tonight. 7.30 kick off over here, which is nice and early for me. It's only a little later than that, drives me nuts waiting up till sort of half past 10 or midnight sometimes. I've got one day's growth. I'm using the Wunderbar from Razor Rock with my Kai blade, which just seems to go on and on and on. see what sort of shear we're going to go and you can see how thick that is on that side of my head. One thing I love about Stirling is the slickness. I've only ever tried one non-mentholated Stirling and I've got that in the den at the moment, it was sent to me from my Bay Chapel over in New York and that is Arcadia which I absolutely love. It is the exact same scent or oh, it is pretty much a carbon copy of the previous scent which I had which was Trus Magistus from Hillel Grimming which is basically a, it's a carbon copy of a tour, uh, tour dermis. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it, but I don't think I'm too far away. Now, because I've only got one day's growth and I'm using the Wunderbar, I do generally end up with a little bit of irritation. being such an efficient razor but a bit of good test for the soap Now the Kai blade in this razor has been solely used for head shaves. I think this this is around about the eighth shave or something. I'm not 100 percent sure. I just keep using it. Just to emphasise for those that haven't tried one before, how good they are. I can only get basically one and a half shaves out of a feather blade. Yeah, these bad boys just seem to go on and on. Now because I'm using the splash and aloe vera today as well, I'm expecting pain. My head's freezing, absolutely freezing. I love it, I love the menthol.
But I'm looking forward to it, strangely enough. The alcohol splash that I used earlier today. Because I used it after the the witch hazel halo formula, it didn't actually sting at all the alcohol. And I, it, nothing happened for a few seconds. And then all of a sudden the main all kicked in. No, I didn't run out of space this time, I just popped out of the room. Oh, freezing. Yeah, that's just ice cold, it really is. And then you put this back on and it gets even colder. Freezing cold. Yeah, definitely one of the coldest soaps in the world. It's got to be. Like I say, I've tried Arctic, Denali, PAA Frostbite, Snakebite, Glacial Spearmint, Glacial Lemon Chill. This is the coldest soap I've used out of those. I haven't tried Cryogen, I haven't tried Yeti Snot. This is the coldest I've used. Right, straight back into it again. Now the main worry here is cutting yourself at this stage because you really lose the feeling in your skin.
to my fingers. Add a little bit of moisture. And we'll feel around. I hope you can sort of appreciate the slickness there, it just, just glides. Yeah, come from there. <laughs> the great thing with sterling is you can just keep going and going and going. Fingers crossed. I can get through it without a single nick, cut a weeper, nothing at all. straight stuck in, which is open and aloe, glacial windscreen. Now this stuff gives a bit of a sting to begin with. Oh, I didn't give that a good shake. Let's give it a shake. Gives a good sting and then a hell of a burn. You 
you don't feel it quite as much on your head, I don't think, but we'll soon find out. <laughs> Okay. Right, now all that is burning a hole through to my brain. Which oddly feels quite good. Just gonna rinse off this soap. I mean this was mainly sort of highlighting the aftershave splash that I'm about to use and the brush, the girly brush from Spencer he keeps telling me he's a man oh, I just might as well just rinse the brush out as well the brush performed well, never lost any hairs it is a very it's not dense at all. I'm a bit surprised actually with how soft the fibres are that they don't pack the brush denser. I don't know whether you can, you probably won't see, but you can really squish it right down to nothing really. But, excellent performing brush. Uh, I've, got, I've got soap in it actually. This is a bit that adds up to my videos. I'll start talking shit at the end. That's better. Yeah, much better. So the soap was Sterling Glacial Wintergreen Freezing Cold Soap. Excellent performance as you've seen, lather's great, it's slick, it's glossy, it's cushiony, it's protective, it's just great stuff. I know most of you guys that watch the channel have seen me talk about it before but someone new about you watching and it's just to give them an idea of how good this stuff is. Yaki Brush, Y-A-Q-I from Ali, AliExpress or AliExpress however you pronounce it. It's a well made resin handle, there's no marks on it, it's been very well made. I'm not sure whether this is hand turned, machine turned, polished by hand, polished by machine or whether it's a mould, I really don't know but it's pretty impeccable. There's no marks on it at all, there's no like, lines or anything where you would have a mould on it. The knot is a, I think it was called a blonde nylon knot or a blonde faux knot or something on there. But it's basically, I think it's along the lines of the cashmere knot from a, a, a Max Shave or a Max Shave company. But it's very nice. It now smells great and it looks pretty good. It's not a, it's not an ugly brush by any means, it's just it's more feminine coloured really. It says as Kyle says over pretty much it says the man with a purple haze brush with pink and purples and all sorts through it. But that's more womanly, I find. More feminine. The Wunderbar. No idea how many shaves is on this blade. I think it's about eight. Maybe a bit more. But to get that many shaves out of a blade on a head shave is incredible. Now I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have a few little weepers on the back here, so let's have a look. Oh, sweet F all. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This stuff's excellent though. Really is nice stuff. And now we get to finish off with the aftershave splash, which really burns from the fires of hell, this stuff. Incredible burn. All it's got in here is denatured alcohol, witch hazel, essential oil, aloe, menthol, glycerin and hydrovance, whatever that is. So that's all we've got. I give it a good shake and this comes out sort of pink. You can see the colour of the lid. That's pretty much the colour of the stuff inside it. The restrictor on the sterling bottles is excellent. It doesn't allow a lot to pour out. And here we go. Oh, it's a sting off that this time. I never got a sting on my head shave, but there's a definite sting this time on my head shave. Uh, on the face shave. There's a definite noticeable sting on my head shave. Now, the sting is gone. That's the alcohol bit, it's done. Now comes the cooling burn. <laughs> it's coming, don't worry. You can see how red it is on my head. <laughs> oh, oh, this is, oh, Jesus.
that is just pure methyl. It's not an allergic reaction, it's not a reaction of any type, it's not alcohol, that is just pure high concentration of menthol. You might think I'm crazy doing that, but it's got glycerin in it, it's got the alcohol to help fix the any sort of germs or bugs or anything that could be on there to kill any bugs or anything. I've just started off with the witch hazel and the aloe, so I've got everything onto my skin that I need. The menthol is there just for the sensation, and Jesus. It is, the sensation is unbelievable. <laughs> the mental is coming down into my eyes now. That's just unreal. <sighs> Spencer, you're the man, mate. Thanks very much for sending it. I'll, I'll love using this forever until it runs out. And then I'll probably pick it up again next year as well. If I can try and get the, the aftershave splash again. Superb stuff. That's the menthol sensation started to go now and it started to become cool that heat that intense and i mean intense heat burn that you get from it it's dissipating now and i'm really red at the moment you can see it's it's really red but as you can see from my face shave today other than my usual area here this is actually a red scar come around here it's like a stretch mark nothing i can do with it but my skin in general is much better now that i'm shaving every three or four days but that redness will die away over the next hour or two and, and it'll feel great i know it will it feels great already that menthol is really cooling me down now so anyway guys thanks very much for tuning in uh, stay safe drive safe don't drink and drive and i'll catch you guys in the next video cheers <laughs>